Hello everybody and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 102. And today we're going to be going over the at font your face module. And this module basically goes over how you can basically apply web fonts to your Drupal website. It provides a nice administrative interface for not only browsing and finding web fonts to use, but also for easily applying them to different parts of your site without having to actually use any theme code whatsoever. It of course adds the flexibility so if you do want to use it alongside a theme you can do that as well. But it's extremely easy to get started and make your website look much nicer with some nice web fonts. Before we get started, as always I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also go to codekarate.com. Sign up for the newsletter over here on the left. Today's sponsor is DrupalEyes.me by Lullabot. You can use the coupon code CK20FEB for 20% off. And if you're not familiar with DrupalEyes.me, I highly recommend you give them a look. It has helped me a lot in my past. I've had an account for quite a while and used it to learn a whole bunch of pretty advanced Drupal topics. But it's also for the beginner, so whether you're simply just getting started or whether you've been around Drupal for a while, go ahead and give them a look and try them out. It's definitely worth it. So let's go ahead and get started. I have our test site here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on a few of the Font Your Face modules. There are a whole bunch of providers that you can use. I'm going to keep it simple and I'm just going to turn on the Font Your Face UI and Font Your Face module and just the Google Fonts API because that's the easiest one that I found to get started with but there are a whole bunch of other ones you can check out as well. So I'm going to save that. And I'm going to click the configure option. It gives you a couple different options here. It says the which providers you have. It says Google's enabled with 2017 fonts, so you have quite a bit of fonts to look through and choose from. You can also just select what kind of preview text you want for each font, and you can set logging settings. All the fonts are managed under the appearance section, so you can click this link here, or you can come to appearance and click on the at font your face tab right here. As you can see there are no fonts enabled yet so we're going to first have to enable some. You can click this link or click over here to browse all fonts. And each, there's a tab for each provider. Since we only have Google, only Google shows up. So you can see there are a whole bunch of fonts here that you can select from. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick some random fonts so we can take a look. And you have quite a few pages you get to go through so you can definitely have a fun time going through and finding certain fonts that you want to apply to your website. So I went ahead and I selected about four fonts there, but as you can see, there are many and many pages of fonts you can go through and you can find the ones that fit your site the best. Once I get the fonts that I want, I select to the, or go to the Enabled Fonts tab and you can see I have a list of fonts. And the really cool thing about this module is, like I said before, you don't necessarily have to even hop into the theme code or do any manual coding whatsoever to start applying these fonts. So let's say, for instance, I want to change all the headers on the site to use this first font. Simply select all headers in this CSS selector, CSS selector here, S click Save, and you'll notice this heading right here is changed can also go out here to the site and you'll see all the headings on the site have now changed to this web font without me having to write any code whatsoever. I'll come back to the at font your face and look at the settings some more. You can also select to use standard text. So I'm going to change all standard text to this cabin 500 italics. So you'll, as soon as I save this, you're going to notice a lot of this text change. As you can see it's changed. It's become significantly different than it was before because it's using this new font that we have. The other cool thing is you can not only do it this way, but you can also say 
other and you can add your own CSS class or CSS selector so this could be a class an ID anything like that that you may want to use with this specific selector you can also select that you want to add this selector in the theme CSS and here it will give you the font family that you need to add to your CSS you'll also want to make sure if you're doing that you're gonna go to the in theme section here and you're going to want to add this line of code to your themes.info file so if we were gonna do it on this last font here we would go ahead and add this to our .info file and make sure you save it go ahead and make sure you read this note about uh, dependencies but as soon as you did that you could then come in copy this font family and you'd be good to go you can also manage the whole thing by CSS selector and this one is much better in my mind for applying it across a bunch of different sections of your site so you can of course say h1s h2s h3s you can separate out those differently so we can put h1s to be this cuprum italic and leave the rest this acronym regular the other cool thing is you can add your own selector so if we want if we had a class for fancy text or something like that we could then apply this you can of course apply fallbacks here which is kind of nice just in case the web font isn't able to be applied so I save that and now you'll see I have a selector for fancy text that should have been saved but it looks like looks like that's not saving I'm going to go ahead and select that there there we go looks like you're not only only want one enabled at a time and one thing it looks like if you have try to have multiple it looks like it didn't like that the last time I'm gonna go ahead and try that again you may have to just define it there you go in the other tab you can define multiple selectors just go ahead and add a comma so if you wanted h1s plus the class of fancy text you can add them both if you need another one you simply add another comma and put another CSS selector in there and it will work so we're gonna try out this fancy text CSS class and make sure it does in fact work so as you can see I have quite a bit of different types of fonts on here obviously it doesn't necessarily look the best but you can get the picture of how it should work so I'm just gonna add a CSS class in here of fancy text uh, around this and I'm going to use full HTML just so it will work and click Save you can see that the first paragraph is now different than the second paragraph if I examine it you will see that of course it's using this cuprum or however it is pronounced I'm not exactly sure font family so that's font your face extremely easy to use extremely nice if you want to jump in and start using web fonts and you don't want to make sure you have all the right downloaded files on your server or anything like that you simply download the module select the fonts you want to use and start putting them in on your Drupal site so that's it for this time on the daily dose of Drupal Thanks again to Drupalize.me, and thanks again for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. See you next time.